Hello and welcome to uh, a very quick tutorial on uh, setting up and administering your auto attendant with the uh, Internet Solutions uh, hosted IP PBX service. You can do this quite simply via uh, logging in via the EWS, the external web server, or as we call it, the voice portal. Um, so just in your browser, hit https uh, ewsisweb.net. You don't need to add that piece and uh, log in with your either your administrator, your either group administrator or enterprise administrator login. In this particular example, I'm logging in as the group administrator. So I'm actually going to be administering a auto tenant for a specific site or group. So once I'm logged in there, you'll see that we've created a, a fictitious company which, um, which we will demo the auto tenant and how to configure it. Once you've logged in, you want to navigate on the left hand side to services and uh, uh, over here to auto attendant. If you do not have auto attendant um, in your uh, or on your browser, it means that the auto attendant service has not been provisioned for your specific group. Um, in order to get this enabled, you need to speak to an Internet Solutions uh, representative um, or contact your system administrator who will uh, assist or contact IS in order to get this enabled. So if it's enabled, you can click on it. I have created a test one there just in the past. So I'm just going to delete that so we can start again. Uh, sorry, wrong place. Let me just quickly delete this. All right. So before you go jumping in and uh, adding your auto attendant, there's a few things you have to do um, from a planning perspective. And these are just some tips to get you, get you going. So you need to plan and map out your interactive voice response or IVR structure. That'll give you a clear idea of what it looks like, all the different prompts that you need to record, and uh, which keys take you into which into which menus. Once you've done that, uh, you need to think about your time schedule. So are you going to be running the same IVR uh, structure for business hours and after hours, or are you looking at separate structures for each? So obviously, depending on the decision there, you'll have different different hierarchies and different structures. So it's important to plan that quite carefully. Uh, you also will need a phone number to uh, tie on to your auto tenant because it's the number that you will typically dial in order to get to the auto tenant. So you'll need to configure that and you need to be you need to obtain that number from Internet Solutions. Um, and then I guess the, the thing you need to do is record your actual announcements. And there's a specific format that you would you can record it in any format, but you need to convert it into a specific WAV format in order for the system to accept it. We'll cover that in a bit more detail a little bit later. So um, let's just quickly look at a telephone number we can use. I think I, I have a an available one here in this group. And I can just use this one here, this 0873514692. I'm going to go back to services, auto attendant, go add. And the ID, I'm actually going to use the same ID as the phone number. So I'm going to use that number, and then I need to give it a name. So you may you might have um, different levels. Uh, you may have, for example, you know, press one for sales, uh, very basic. Let's say zero for operator, one for sales, and two for technical. Uh, in that case, your main auto attendant will play that announcement, and then depending on whether the user presses one uh, or two, it'll take them into another IVR layer. For example, in sales, you might want to say for paper sales, press one. For photocopier sales, press two. So in this instance, I'm just going to give it the name. I'm going to say main auto attendant, which is the main auto attendant. We'll give it the same here for the CLI. And um, right, uh, you can select a department if you want to put it into a specific department. In this case, I'm going to make it at a group. Put it at a group level, time zone, uh, video support. If uh, we don't cover that in this in this tutorial. But uh, the auto attendant within broad, the Broadside framework does support video for auto attendant. But that won't be covered. It's beyond the scope of this video. So let's disable that and leave everything else. Business hours is just set to every day, all day. And we haven't defined a holiday schedule. So we'll just leave that as none. <coughs> Excuse me. So the scope of extension dialing, this is if you enable extension dialing. So through the IVR. You can actually just, if you know the extension that you're dialing, the user can type in the extension and be transfer, transferred directly to that user. That extension can, the scope of that extension can either be at a department, group, or enterprise level. 
if it's at a group level, it'll only be within a specific site or group. And if you select Enterprise, it'll look at all the enter all the extensions within the enterprise. So any of those extensions will, will trigger a call to the actual user. The scope of name dialing is the same concept in Broadsoft. Um, the Broadsoft uh, Auto Tenant has the ability that if you know the name that you, of the person you're dialing, um, you can actually key in the last name or the first name on the keypad, on the phone keypad, and it'll transfer you to that user. So I'm going to leave that as group as well. And the name is in the last, the, the name search order is in last name, first name, or you could change it to last name, first name, and first name, last name. So I'm going to leave it as last name, first name for now. Okay, once I click OK, it'll take me, I clicked OK twice, so that didn't, uh, it wasn't too happy with me. So once you click OK there, it will effectively have taken you into the next screen, which should help you define your business hours menu. Um, so I'll just take you straight back there. <clears throat> then this is the screen you would have seen. The default is just a default greeting. There is a system default greeting. You can upload your own personal greeting just by selecting that and then choosing the appropriate web file for that particular auto attendant. So I can just do that. If you try and upload um, a web file which is not encoded in the right way, it will give you an error and it will give you a tutorial on how to encode it and what the settings are to actually encode that web file. So I'm going to leave it as for now just the default greetings. All right, and then the, okay. The, this option here, um, if you enable it, will basically allow you or allow the user to dial the extension if they know the extension as soon as the IVR or the auto attendant is engaged. So as soon as they hear the announcement, they can at any time punch in the extension and be transferred. So we'll leave that uh, enabled. And um, I'm going to leave the defaults here, just zero for group operator. Um, and here you can change it. So if you wanted this to be, you know, transfer to sales or whatever it is, you could change it. But for now, I'm going to leave it as default, and that'll transfer us to an operator. I haven't set in the operator number because I actually don't know what that number is. I'm going to go and find it out now, and then put it back in here. Press um, one for dial by extension. So if you know the extension you're dialing, you can just dial by extension and press two to dial uh, by name. Okay. You could also have repeat if you want to repeat the menu, for example. I'm just going to say uh, repeat menu. Okay. So once you click OK, um, it would take you then to the after hours menu. Um, the after hours menu, if different, you can then customize with different announcements and different key, key descriptions. In this case, it's the, the, in this tutorial, they are both the same, so I'm going to ignore that and leave that one the same. Okay, and let's just click OK here. So once you've done um, adding your auto attendant, you'll end up back at this screen. You'll notice there's no phone number assigned, assigned to this auto attendant. So what you want to do here is you want to drill down into the auto, auto attendant, click on addresses. So you can see here in your breadcrumbs with group auto attendant and the actual phone, the, the ID. You need to now assign a phone number, an actual physical phone number, to that auto attendant with extension 4692. So let's do that. Now you'll see if you go here that there is indeed a phone number. So if you were to dial that number now, you would get the, the auto attendant. Okay, so um, just to I'm just gonna quickly dial it here on my on my other phone, my mobile phone. And um, you should be able to hear so 087. Three five one four six nine two. Welcome. All is being answered by an automated attendant. If you know the extension of the party you are trying to reach, dial it now. To use our automated name directory, press two. If you would like to speak with an operator, press. So that's the default announcement that comes with the system. Um, welcome to use them, but obviously many users want to customize that. So now what happens if you have, as I said in my example, you have, um, let's just say one, I'm going to go and change this now. Uh, so business hours. And I'm going to say, um, let's just say, let's leave, let's leave one for extension, two by name. Let's make three for technical support. Okay. 